Hi, my name is Goldbeer and let's start with Slime Rancher. So this is a charming first-person sandbox experience. You will play a plucky young rancher who sets out for a life a thousand light years away from Earth. Each day will present new challenges and risky opportunities as you attempt to amass a great fortune in the business of slime ranching. Collect colorful slimes, grow crops, harvest resources and explore the untamed wilds. Also here you can complete daily requests from other ranchers to get bonus rewards. Earn money to upgrade your stuff, build more corals and expand your ranch. This is a relaxing and fun game, very suitable after a hard work day or as a casual time burner when you have nothing else to do. Well, in that case you can go and make delicious potato salad instead. Doors Paradox have you ever played the game named The Room? This is basically the same. You'll try to search for clues, click on things, unlock various drawers, attach pipes, melt uranium, and do many other crazy things in order to unlock the doors to the next level, which will contain more doors. Yeah, here you'll find 58 door puzzles, set in 13 unique realms. The puzzles are not very hard. I played the demo, you can also try it on Steam for free, and I don't think I was seriously stuck in any place. But I have to warn you, the game is actually addictive. I just wanted to solve one door to make an impression about the game, but I spent an hour or so solving puzzle after a puzzle. Game is really satisfying and well made. Everything. Now, if you wondered if we live in a simulation, this game is a great example of how it can go if someone who created or simulated universe decided to play a bit with it. And I'm not talking about making your nose even larger for fun, no, game has a much bigger scale, although not as big as your mama. Everything is an interactive experience where every object in the universe is a playable character, from animals to planets to galaxies and beyond. Travel between outer and inner space and explore a vast interconnected universe universe of things without enforced goals, scores or tasks to complete. This is a sandbox where you can sink a lot of your time, and it is more of an art than an actual game, but it works as a great stress reliever, some say even better than potato salad. No, actually nobody said that, at least in this universe. Journey this is a very different game if you compare it to anything else in the gaming world. Here you will have to traverse the desert, learn the fate of ancients and dive into dangerous ruins. Or not dangerous, just beautiful. You can't fight here. Running away is also not an option. If you encounter an enemy, the only way for you to survive is to hide. But don't worry, this is not some hide and seek game. Enemies are very rare. The thing you will do mostly here is traveling. You will be on a journey. It's a relaxing game. You don't need almost any skills to finish it. It's just just a beautiful adventure with amazing visuals and you have all my recommendations. Imagine, my mother is 65 years old and she finished the game on her PlayStation 4 without any help from a side. This game suits everyone. Pilgrims do you know about Samorost and Machinarium? It is another creation of the developers who made these wonderful games. And Pilgrims kinda look like a wonderful game as well. So don't doubt it. I forbid. You'll roam the land as you please and make new friends. Share a love with your fellow travelers and help them complete their little stories your way. How many different solutions can you find? This game is meant for playing, not for beating it. It's the journey, not the destination. Game is packed with 45 achievements and amazing music. And just look at this price. Looks cute and friendly for your wallet. Potion Craft Alchemist Simulator. This is a really unique and satisfying game. Here you will learn how to make various potions, from rat poison to love elixir, which you can later give to your mother in law so she would love you more than her actual daughter. <laughs> what a devious plan this is. Also, here you can buy various ingredients from traveling merchants or grow them by yourself in your medieval garden. Game has about 90% of positive reviews for a reason. People on Steam are saying that Potion Craft is a really relaxing, chill game without many restraints. Like, you know, time that runs out. No, nothing like that here. Really simple yet thoughtful game. My time at Porsche. This is a fun and relaxing RPG, a great open world game with an incredible amount of stuff to do. It is similar to Stardew Valley, but has more depth in it. Literally, because it is in 3D and figuratively because it is bigger in general. And this is the best game if you just want to relax. Here you arrive in a weird post-apocalyptic new town named Porsche, inherit your father's old building workshop and spend your time restoring it to its former glory. It's definitely not a game for a serious RPG lover, but sometimes it's just good to relax, catch some LP Packers, build some experimental devices and even go to a dungeon to fight giant rats. Definitely a game for the whole family. Season, a letter to the future. 
This is a beautiful open-world narrative visual novel where you play as a young woman from a secluded village, exploring the world by bike for the first time. You will collect memories before a cataclysm washes everything away. The game will take you on a quest to discover a new world, one unknown yet familiar. You will document, photograph and record life as you find it, while you still can. Each recording tool captures a different layer. Sounds and music, art and architecture, the stories of characters living through pivotal moments. Your tools peel back the slayers until you grasp the culture, history and ecology underneath everything. Game has more than 90% of positive reviews and could be great for you to take a rest from various hack and slash bloodshed infused titles and try something different instead. Strange Horticulture here you'll find and identify new plants, pet your cat, speak to a coven, or join a cult. Use your growing collection to influence the story and unravel dark mysteries. You are a citizen of a charming town surrounded by hag-infested forests and rugged mountains. You are the horticulturist, owner of a local plant store. As a cast of colorful customers come by your shop, you are quickly thrust into an occult mystery stretching back hundreds of years. Explore the lands beyond your store to find new plants, but be careful. The dark woods and lakes are not always friendly to a simple herbalist. You might discover powers beyond your wildest nightmares or lose your mind completely. Game has an overwhelmingly positive review score, it's a true masterpiece. If you like interesting, non-cliché stuff, it's a must-play for you. Vanishing of Ethan Carter the game surprised me by not having any UI, no information bar or anything like that. And that's a good thing, because it doesn't need one anyway. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter is very detailed and the praise this game received for its graphics is very much deserved. You may call the game a walking simulator, but it's more like a detective story that you have to unfold by, you know, walking around. Here will slowly reveal clues that allow you to piece the events of this Lovecraftian mystery together. Yeah, the game may sometimes be really creepy, but that adds to the immersion. Main stories constructed from several smaller stories and once you collect all the clues the game rewards you with an interesting and unexpected conclusion. Like really, if you are expecting some simple murder mystery here, it's nothing like that. So basically if you like slow-paced beautiful games with the ability to surprise you, this is one of the best choices you can make. The Last Campfire this is an adventure, a story of a lost ember trapped in a puzzling place, searching for meaning and a way home. You'll travel deeper into the lands beyond the dark forest and overcome the adversities before you. Discover beautiful wilderness filled with lost inhabitants, strange creatures and mysterious ruins. 97% of all people who bought this game are recommending it to you. People on Steam are talking that this is a beautiful story-driven game filled with great art and even greater music. The puzzles game throws at you ranges from fairly easy to a medium. Nothing will bend your brains inside out in this game. If you fail here somehow, it's a pure problem of your IQ, I'm sorry. If you are in doubt, you can try the demo version on Steam for free. Dorf Romantic this is a relaxing building strategy and puzzle game, in which you play styles to create ever-growing, idyllic village landscapes. With Dorf Romantic you can immerse yourself in a quiet, peaceful world at any time, and take a break from everyday life, which usually sucks. At the same time, the game offers a challenge for those who are looking for one. To be the high score, you need to carefully plan and strategically place your tiles, so you will have to use that tiny organ in between your ears. And it's good for you to take a break from killing countless zombies, riding dragons, and hunting Bigfoot. It somehow reminds me of a tabletop game named Carcassonne. If you like that, you will love this game as well, and vice versa. And now is the time when you subscribe. Or if you are already subscribed, hit that bell notification button. Let's be friends with benefits. Titan Chaser it's a meditative experience where you don't have to manage fuel, car maintenance, health or damage. Just find where to drive and how to use your tools effectively. Or just forget about your work and drive through foggy landscapes to calm down after a hot day. Although your job here is to find monsters and make them go away. I think it is inspired by a Norwegian movie called Troll Hunter. This is the best Norwegian accent I can do. Sue me. Game has very positive reviews and people on Steam are saying that this game is an absolute gem. Really creative and ambitious vicious project. Townscaper what a beautiful game this is. Well, it's hard to call it a game, to be fair. There are no goals or gameplay, just plenty of building and plenty of beauty. That's it. As developers say, Townscaper is an experimental passion project, more of a toy than a game. Pick colors from the palette, plop down colored blocks of houses on the irregular grid, and watch Townscaper's underlying algorithm automatically turn those blocks into cute little houses, arches, stairways, bridges, and lush backyards. You can build your own cold beer town, cold beerville, or even 
whole cold Beeristan and enjoy the amazing view. Game has overwhelmingly positive reviews and I can see why. What remains of Edith Finch? overwhelmingly positive review score should grab your attention. 17-year-old Edith Finch is the last surviving member of the eccentric Finch family. All of her closest relatives and family have died violently at a young age, leading to rumors about a family curse. Now she's on her way to her Finch mansion, a bizarre ramshackle building hidden deep within the forest of the state of Washington. Once there, she intends to research her family's history and learn the truth behind the alleged curse. While this can sound like a horror game, it's actually just a tale about one family that is more interesting than your family or mine. People are saying that this is more than just a game, it is a unique form of art. Call of the Sea a wonderful game for puzzle lovers when you unlock the secrets in the hunt of missing expedition. It is the year 1934. In the far reaches of South Pacific, you play as Nora who has crossed the ocean following the trail of her missing husband's expedition and finds herself in the lush island paradise, a nameless forgotten place dotted with the remnants of lost civilization. What strange mysteries does it hold? And what might Nora dig up in her quest for the truth? Maybe a better recipe for potato salad? Nah, I doubt it. People are talking that Call of a PC has very interesting story and the visuals are stunning. On Steam it has about 90% of positive reviews and that is definitely enough for you to dive in this first person story rich adventure. Find your husband my hero, find him alive. East Shade Nothing shady about this game, in fact it's hard to find some darker corner here. You are a traveling painter exploring the island and capturing the world on your canvas. Talk to the inhabitants to learn about their lives, make friends and help those in need. Visit cities, scale summits, unearth mysteries and discover forgotten places. Although as I always say, if you are used to killing stuff in games, you will find the lack of violence here really disturbing. You will find no enemies to maim, hack or slash, nobody to shoot, no dripping blood or intestines on the floor and no usual possessed undead babies climbing down on the ceiling. So keep in mind that all this friendliness may really shock you, play it at your own risk. Firewatch this is one of the most immersive games I have ever played. Firewatch is a single-player first-person mystery set in a Wyoming wilderness. The year is 1989. You are a man named Henry who has retreated from his messy life to work as a fire lookout in a lush forest. An especially hot and dry summer is a great thing everywhere, except where you work. One smoking cigarette butt or one shard of broken glass and this beauty can become a real hell on earth in seconds. This is a game for adults with adult conversation themes. Despite that it is colorful and beautiful and all, it's not made for kids in any way. Abzu from the art director of Journey, Abzu is a beautiful underwater adventure that evokes the dream of diving. You'll immerse yourself in a vibrant hidden world, bursting with color and life as you descend into the heart of the ocean. But beware, as you swim deeper you will confront the dangers lurking in the depths. Nah, I'm kidding, you can't actually die here and you have no fighting skills as well. This game is pure adventure, a real member of the walking simulator family. Well, swimming simulator, I guess. So if you play Journey, you probably will like Abzu as well. This is a great game, you have my sincere recommendations. Although keep in mind that this game is just like your ding dong. Very short. Totally accurate battle simulator. If you are just bored and want to kill some time in single player without thinking too much, I doubt there is a better game for that than Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. At first, it's really funny. Second, it challenges your IQ and actual tactical skills. All you need to do is to choose your units, place them strategically and press the fight button. They will do all the battling part by themselves and you will observe it like some overarching god who has no power to influence anything anymore. So when your army is ripped apart and its scattered remains lie on the ground, then you may think of another strategy and try again and then again. Some of the battles in the campaign are crazy hard and it will squeeze your IQ through your nostrils. Also if you have some doubts, the game has about 100,000 reviews left on Steam and the score is really close to 100%. I'm not kidding, it's probably one of the best rated games on the whole Steam. The Companion. So here you will play as some mutated fox with many tails and explore a magical spiritual realm. You will journey across seven majestic landscapes and witness the emotional story of a family as they tackle the challenges ahead of them. Keep in mind that the story itself is a bit mind-boggling because sometimes you play in the future, sometimes in the past, episodes don't have linear order and that may be a bit confusing. Anyway, if you like story-driven walking simulators with a lot of exploration, then it's for you. Monument Valley. 
Here you'll embark on a journey as Aida, the silent princess, through impossible environments and illusionary puzzles. You will experience this meditative and calming puzzle game by manipulating monuments and creating evolving paths to explore new, surreal and mysterious worlds. So basically you will solve tricky but immensely satisfying puzzles with optical illusions at their core, evolve landscapes to reveal pathways that would have otherwise been impossible, and as you progress discover beautiful architecture transforming landscapes through pushing, pulling, clicking, raising, lowering and more. 98% of positive reviews is not a thing you can easily ignore, so don't! Staxel Every now and then we need to relax to beat our anxiety and enjoy some nice colors. So instead of drugs this time, you can try Staxel. This is a creative farming and village life game with a cast of quirky characters. Build your farmhouse, help villagers take to the wilds to fish or hunt for bugs, and grow a variety of crops in your backyard. This game is really good to play with friends. So if you have friends, I mean real friends, you probably know them very well, you know their secrets, so blackmail them into playing Staxel with you because that's the only way. The Unfinished Swan You'll explore a mysterious all-white landscape by splatting paint to reveal the world around you. You'll follow a swan that stepped out of an unfinished painting and wandered off into a surreal storybook-inspired kingdom. Each chapter brings surprises and new ways to explore the world, which is a host of bizarre and sometimes dangerous creatures. You will also encounter the eccentric king who built this empire. This is simply one of the best puzzle games ever created. If you are looking for a nice game with a good story and relaxing gameplay, this title is a must try, no doubt. A short hike. 99% of positive reviews. What? Yeah, I know, it looks like some kind of miracle. Games with such ratings do not exist. You know, like elves, or politicians who don't lie, or elves who don't lie. So here you can hike and climb through peaceful mountainside landscapes, follow the marked trails, or explore the backcountry as you make your way to the summit. Along the way, meet other hikers and discover hidden treasures. People on Steam are talking that this game is Breath of the Wild crossbred with Animal Crossing and the only bad thing about this game is that it ends. And it ends really quickly. About one and a half hour of your life will be made better by this game. A masterpiece, no doubt. Festival Tycoon. So this is a micromanagement game about building music festivals. Here you will grow your fest from a backyard bonanza into an unmissable global event. Work with bands and with various brands to build an excellent reputation and rake in the big bucks. Pick from a wide catalog of buildings and decorations to design a fest ground that is practical as well as pretty. Craft around a theme, use and create custom apps, load local music and earn nice amounts of money. Well, if I play this game, I will definitely create a potential potato salad fest here, and it will have awesome bands such as Tenacious D, Rammstein, and Foo Fighters. Although for copyright reasons, they will probably be named Tenacious A, Rammstein, and Foo Fighters. Anyway, with career mode, sandbox mode, and even an extreme mode, there is plenty of ways to play. People on Steam are saying that the game is easy to learn and fun to play for a few hours, but you will probably get bored rather quickly, so the sale is the perfect time to obtain it. Goro Goa an overwhelmingly 97% positive review score is not something we can easily ignore. Gorogoa is an elegant evolution of the puzzle genre told through a beautiful hand-drawn story. The gameplay is wholly original, consisting of lavishly illustrated panels which you arrange and combine in various ways to solve artsy puzzles. Impeccably simple, yet satisfyingly complex. People on Steam are talking that this may be the best puzzle game ever created. Well, I have to agree, it is definitely one of the best. Very imaginative and made entirely of art. In other waters. This is one of the coolest indie games I have stumbled on recently. Story begins when Ellery is called to the planet Glees, only to arrive at an abandoned base. She finds herself adrift in an ocean of secrets with little more than a malfunctioning diving suit and a strange AI to guide her. And you play not as an Ellery, as you already assumed, but as this AI. How the turns have tabled, huh? So you have to guide Ellery and keep her safe as you dive deeper and explore an underwater alien landscape. The planet's unique life and its dark history are are yours to uncover and the bond between you and Ellery will be tested by the secrets you learn. People are talking that this game floats somewhere between an art project, a work of fiction and an experiment in minimalist UI design. I absolutely agree and I will add the fact that this game is awesome and if you like stuff like that you should definitely try it out. The Talos Principle 
You find yourself in a strange, contradictory world of ancient ruins and advanced technology. Tasked by a creator with solving a series of increasingly complex puzzles, you must decide whether to have faith or to ask the difficult questions. Who are you? What is your purpose? And what is the best recipe of the potato salad? You'll have to solve more than 120 immersive puzzles, divert drones, manipulate laser beams and even replicate time to prove yourself and find a way out. If you think that you have a great intellect, this game Game will humble you down, I promise. Kerbal Space Program While the second part of the game is still a disaster with 50% of review score, the first part will never fail to entertain us. This game is fun, but also it is very hard. Here you'll have to create your own spaceship and rocket science is anything but easy. It's not your sister. Wait, what? Anyway, building a spaceship here reminds me of creating abominations in Spore. Every detail can be scaled, turned and attached to another detail, so you have to do everything right in order to take a space flight. Game has a really good physics engine, so you can take off successfully with a giant unicorn or something. But if you practice enough, you can send a giant potato salad ball to the moon. Nah, you probably can't, but you can try. Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. This title can be real entertaining for those who like farming and crafting games like Stardew Valley, My Time at Porsche and similar ones. Although it's not on the same level of quality, it's way shorter and smaller than those aforementioned, but it's really cute and interesting. If you have a hunger for games like that, it may be a good choice. Yonder is a relaxing open-world adventure set in a natural island paradise with eight distinct environments ranging from tropical beaches to snow-capped summits. But this land is not as perfect as it seems. The mysterious Murg has taken hold of a land, so your task is to remove it. And now keep in mind that there are plenty of other Steam Summer Sale videos in my channel. Don't forget to check them out and save some money. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you next time, bye!